Hey beautiful people, how you guys doing? Hope you guys are great. I just wanted to come and share with you this wig that I bought. Um, I thought it was a really good wig to share with you guys because it was cheap, it looks really good, and it doesn't tangle. So I mean, what more could you really want? So I bought this wig online from Elevated Styles. I like the wig because it's bone straight. Um, but it does have a afro texture to it. And typically with wigs like this, they tend to be extremely expensive. So the color I got her in is a number one, which is jet black. Okay, so in the winter time, I tend to like very, very, very dark hair. I think it looks really good, but in the summertime, I like the number twos and number fours. So I definitely will repurchase this wig in a lighter color because it's such a good staple wig that I want it in different colors. So as I was talking about the texture, this is what the texture looks like. It's pretty thick as far as density goes. You can tell I definitely did put a lot of hair in it, but it's still extremely lightweight, which is a really nice combination. Okay, so you can look at the texture. It's not bone straight, but it doesn't have those weird like little squiggly patterns that synthetic wigs have when they're trying to make it look like they're afro textured. But instead it looks like natural hair that's been um, flat ironed. So this is the top of the wig. I think the parting on this wig is what got me. It's very realistic parting. I put a little bit of concealer in the parting um, because it makes it look more natural and one of you guys here on YouTube reminded me about that. Totally forgot about that trick, so thank you. Um, so I put some concealer just to make it look more realistic. I also like to leave a little bit of my hair, like the baby hairs, like to slick them down in the front because it just makes it blend much better with the wig and it just helps it to look more real. But isn't that parting bomb, guys? I mean, for $22, I think this is excellent parting for a synthetic wig. So for all of you guys who like long hair, the wig is long. I would say it's like 18 to 22 inches. I'm not sure exactly how long it is, but this is where it comes down to on my body. So now that I'm saying that, I think it's more like 22 inches to 24 inches. It's pretty long, it's a long wig, but you can always cut it. You can cut um, it to be like a little bit shorter if you like shorter hair, so it could be like this long. I know some of you guys don't like super long hair, or you could even cut it really short into like a A-line bob, and I think that would be really cute too. So here's all the hair to the front. Okay, this is the side. So this is a wig in the color F1B Gray. I expected there to be black in it because of the 1B, but it's an all gray wig. Because the top is gray, it does not blend at all with my hair, so it's really unwearable for me. In order for me to make it wearable, I would need to spray dye the top part, the roots, to make it a little bit more realistic. However, if you have gray hair or white afro textured hair, this would blend really, really nicely. This is a wig in a color number two, which is an off black color. The parting seems much shorter on this wig than it was on the jet black wig. However, it gives you an idea of what the parting looks like before you put concealer on it. The texture seems to be the same as the jet black wig, but the color is just a little bit lighter and it's more of a natural black. This is a wig in a color number four, which is a chestnut brown. As you can see, um, the parting on this wig is very similar to the jet black wig. It's long, but you would have to pluck out some hair and put some concealer to make it look more realistic. The wig construction for all of the wigs have two combs in the front, one comb in the back, and a breathable cap. It also has a really nice elastic band with hooks, so that way you're able to tighten it or loosen it depending on your head size. Needless to say, I think I've said it enough, I love this wig. The parting looks realistic, it does not shed. You might get a little, little, little bit of tangling in the nape of the hair, in the very back part. You might get a little bit of tangling, but it's nothing that a brush can't just go and knock right out. It's not serious tangling at all. Um, you guys can check it out online if you like it. I just wanted to come and share it with you guys because I thought it would be something that some of you guys might be interested in as protective styles for your natural hair, or if you just love wigs like I do, um, it's a nice, style to try out and it won't break the bank. So if you guys have any questions about this wig, please let me know. I hope you guys are all doing great. Thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube fam. I love you guys and I thank you so much for your support. Big kisses to you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, and life.